Hello again, everybody. This is Emma Void, and welcome back to my super lesbian animal RPG Let's Play! Oof. Last we left off, we had finished Act 1, which was quite a doozy. And, uh, yeah, now we're free to do whatever we want for the most part. Well, I think, was there a reason why... Oops, might help if I actually push the right buttons. Right, we gotta talk to Claire at the library. But can I go spend money? <sighs> Alright, I see how it is. Claire is, I'm assuming, hiding back here? No, upstairs. Hi, welcome to the- oh, hey Melody. Hi Mona, is Claire in right now? Unfortunately, yes. In spite of my efforts, Claire has been cooped up in meeting room B almost non-stop since last night. If she gets another coffee stain on the table in there, I swear to god. Okay, thank you, Mona. Uh... Alright, what have you been up to? Oh, official guild charter for the Novas. Approved by Guardian Faith A. Vincent on April 2nd, 1013. Claire Higsby, Jody Caldwell, Allison Galetta, Melody Amaranth. That's it? Nothing else? Okay. Uh, okay. Hi. What did you want to talk to us about, Claire? Did you not notice the whiteboard? No, I, I, I noticed it. Oh yeah, the videotape guy. What about him? Oh, come on. I know it's been on your minds, too. I was kind of trying not to dwell on it, actually. Well, it's kind of hard for me to not to dwell on it. So I've been trying to do some research to figure out what exactly it was that we saw yesterday. The way reality got all twisted and warped down there, I've never heard of anything like it. It shouldn't be possible with normal magic. Did you find anything? Admittedly, my resources are limited to my own book collection and what I could find in the public library. What about the internet? I think the library Wi-Fi is down today or something. Or maybe Mona kicked me off the network. But anyway, I couldn't find a single lead. There's no evidence that the magic we saw yesterday is possible at that scale. And honestly, that concerns me. Spooky. This is a lot more than just spooky, Allison. Whoa, jeez, are you okay, Claire? I'm fine. I mean, I'd say I'm doing remarkably well for someone who hasn't slept in 27 hours. Claire, maybe you should get a little rest. Now is not the time to rest, Melody. What if Javis comes back? What if next time he has a reason to use that magic on Greenridge? Claire, you were pretty hyped about finding that place yesterday. What's with the change of heart? Look, I love a good dungeon, and I thought I could turn it into a teachable moment, but I don't want that magic anywhere near the actual town. Sorry to interrupt, but what if this Javis guy is still pissed about how he wrecked his labyrinth yesterday? Exactly! We have no idea where he is, what he wants, or what he's planning on doing next. But if there's one thing we know, it's that his magic could be used for some very, very bad things. So what are we going to do about this? Tell Faith? No. I propose we do a little reconnaissance work. We find Javis again and figure out what he's up to. If he seems harmless, we leave him alone. But if he's up to something, well, I guess we'll figure out a game plan when we have more intel. We could try putting him under citizen's arrest and hand him over to Faith for questioning, I guess. Is that an actual thing we have the authority to do? Are you sure that isn't kidnapping? I don't know. Probably. Probably as in it's probably fine, or it's probably kidnapping. Claire, didn't you just say we have no idea where Javis is? How are we supposed to find him? We have some clues. Whatever he's doing, it seems like he wants to avoid being found. But he did specifically say he was interested in the Sapphire Islands. If he's still somewhere on the islands, then there are only so many places he could be hiding out. All of those places are out in the wilderness and filled with monsters, I'm assuming. Mm, they might be. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this plan. 
You two already know about Javis's monsters. You know what to expect if we run into another labyrinth. That'll make this easier. I mean, come on. I don't want to bother Faith just because we have a vague hunch that the stranger may or may not be a threat to the town. This seems like exactly the type of thing that warrants telling Faith, actually. Besides, I thought you loved adventures, Allison. <laughs> Trust me, I do. But this is way more serious than regular treasure hunting and sightseeing. Plus, what about Mel? Mel, you're a great healer, but I don't think you signed up for this guild thinking the fate of Greenridge would be on our shoulders on day two. Mm. Now nah, we gotta do it. No, we've got to do this. Whoa, what? Really? I wasn't expecting you to be so gung-ho about this, Mel. It's dangerous, but Claire's right. We made it through Javis's labyrinth yesterday just fine. If it's to protect our town, I think I can handle doing that one more time. Besides, I don't want to make someone else risk their life dealing with Javis out there just because I'm a little scared. <sighs> Spoken like a true paladin, Melody. Plus, we'll have Jody with us this time. She's more than tough enough to watch our backs out there if it gets a little hairy. <sighs> well, geez. If you two are down for this, then let's get this show on the road. Right. Alright, let's go get Jody. She was not at our place when I checked a little bit ago, which was weird, but she's probably just at the tower with Faith. Oh, and after that, we should probably stock up on adventuring gear before we head out. Well, sounds like a plan. Ah, oh, this is so exciting. We're finally going on a real mission as a guild. I mean, yeah? I don't know, I don't have much to say to that. It's just like, well, I guess we're going for it. Also, hey! Hi, welcome to- You! Uh-oh. Claire, can I have a word with you about the 57 books that have mysteriously vanished from the magic section? Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. I'd love to chat, but the fate of the universe is at stake or something. You know how it is. Let's get out of here, guys. Hold it! I have something else to talk to you about as well. Uh-oh? Claire, I've given some thought to your proposal. Wow, Claire proposed. I always thought the tension between you two was kind of... Allison, don't make me climb over this desk and strangle you. Look, Claire asked for my help with a research project. In exchange, she, she said she'd clear her crap out of the meeting room. Wait, are you actually agreeing to help, Mona? At this point, I'll do anything to get you out of my hair. So yes, Claire. What exactly is this project? Claire has been collecting data on the monsters you guys have been fighting, and she wants me to help her compile it into a bestiary. Admittedly, monsters are kind of a fascination of mine. So, assembling a bestiary intrigues me. Anyway, I started putting that together based on the monsters you faced so far. Here's your copy. Hey, Awesome! From now on, you can receive bestiary entries after defeating monsters in battle. I have my own copy of the book that's magically linked to yours, so I'll be writing monster descriptions as you add new entries. Uh, do we get anything for completing it? Some kind of reward? You get a complete bestiary. Wow! Thank you, Mona. This will be really helpful. Please, it's for a good cause. Freeing the library from Claire's dark influence. <laughs> uh, amazing. Alright, let's get back out of here. Uh, oh. Hi? What are you doing out here? <laughs> I forget every single time. <laughs> Good morning. Headed out on another adventure, huh? Yep. We're just stopping by Faith's office first to see if Jody's with her. Oh, uh, yeah. Just a heads up. Faith's got a lot on her plate today. <laughs> Isn't that true every day? You'll see what I mean. Just try not to bug her too much. She doesn't need any more stress right now. Hmm. That's worrisome. Alright, well, let's get on that then. Don't mind us, we're just gonna sneak around and- Ah, hell. Excuse me, do you have an appointment with Miss Vincent? No. If you don't have an appointment, Miss Vincent is a little tied up right now. And by a little, I mean extremely. We've just got a personal matter to discuss. It'll only take a second. Is Jody upstairs with her? Not to my knowledge. 
but if she popped into Faith's office unannounced without checking in at the front desk, it wouldn't be the first time. If you'd like to schedule a meeting, though, Faith has a few openings next week. <sighs> come on, dude. Do we have to go through this every time we come here? We're Faith's closest friends. Just let us talk to her for two seconds. Uh, fine, give me a sec. I don't think I'll ever be used to this guardian thing. I miss being able to see Faith more often. I'm amazed she ever gets to leave her office, honestly. You guys just don't understand. This is what it's like to be a highly skilled witch like me or Faith. Your arcane talents are always in high demand. <laughs> Careful with the adjectives there, Claire. Still, it's a lot of responsibility for a 24-year-old. She must be the youngest guardian in Green Ridge history. Second youngest, right? I've heard stories about a time when everyone thought it would be hilarious to write in a baby's name on the ballot and the baby won. That wasn't that long ago, actually. Wasn't the baby Pepper Leone? Yeah, it turned out there was no age requirement for write-ins. Pepper was technically guardian for like a day before they called for a do-over. See, you guys always blame me for everything, but this town was always bonkers long before I moved here. Anyway, Faith's a great guardian, but I'm still convinced she won partially because everyone thought it'd be fitting for the boss of paladins to be named Faith. <laughs> I mean, she has a point. Okay, Miss Vincent says, uh, Mrs. Miss Vincent will see you now, but she says to make it quick. Just head on up the elevator. Alright. Uh, no? Hmm. Jody? Oh, thank goodness you're. Oh, she's not with you. Have you not seen her either, Faith? No. Don't worry, I'm certain she'll turn up, right? It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, something is definitely up. Faith, your girlfriend is a founding member of my guild and we need her help right now. If something's up with her, then you've got to tell me. I'm sorry, but I have more important things to worry about today than your magical hijinks, Claire. Not this time you don't. Faith, come on, we're your friends. Be honest with us. What's going on? Oh, look, I don't know where Jody is, okay? I have no idea where she is and no way of contacting her. Oh dear. So unless you've got some important news for me, I'm a bit preoccupied. Uh, other than the dude with a VHS tape for a head who we saw building a dungeon or something and summoning monsters beneath Green Ridge, we've got nothing. Allison, not now. Allison, I appreciate the attempt to lighten the mood, but again, now really isn't the time for jokes. Wait, she is joking, right? I really wish she was, but that did actually happen. Okay, let's start over. You met a videotape that was summoning monsters? He told us his name was Javis. He has some, he has some sort of weird space-distorting magic that seems like bad news. He also said something about having to prepare the Sapphire Islands before his superior arrives. But we're not sure what he meant by that. Oh, why didn't you tell me about this immediately? As Guardian, it's absolutely vital that I am aware of all potential threats to the town. We didn't want to dump responsibility for all this on you. This is our problem, we're taking care of it. Claire, this is exactly the type of thing you should come to me for. I know that poking various hornets' nests is kind of an adventurous job, but if you've bitten off more than you can chew, you need to be honest with me about it. Okay, okay, I get it. So what do you propose we do here? In light of what you just told me, I'm willing to let you three in on some classified information. Provided you keep this between us, of course. Sure, Faith, you can trust us. <sighs> okay. While out on patrol yesterday, the paladins noticed some strange creatures around the outskirts of town, hiding in the shadows. Rhett said she had never seen anything like it. They weren't behaving like normal wild monsters. No, they seemed to be watching us. Do you think that might be related to what we found? Maybe. We don't have much to go on, but it hardly seems like a coincidence. I was hoping that Jody and I could take care of the monsters before anything happened, but when we looked, we found no trace of them. I told Jody to keep looking nearby for any signs of monster activity, while the paladins and I stayed in town in case they returned. That was at about 3pm yesterday. I haven't heard from her since. Uh, have you tried calling her? 
Have you actually checked your phone today? Something's interfering with our reception. Which itself is just another reason to be paranoid about all these strange happenings. Okay, yeah, we were already headed out to Monster Territory to investigate Javis anyway. We'll just look for Jody out there. Well, if you three feel up to the challenge, I suppose we have a plan. Not much of one, but it's better than nothing, right? I don't look for Jody with you, but I'm afraid the Paladins and I can't abandon our posts right now. Just promise me you'll be careful and report back to me as soon as you're able, okay? I have a very bad feeling about all this. I don't know what I'd do if something bad happened to Jody, let alone all four of you. <laughs> don't worry, we'll be fine. We've just got to head north, grab Jody, figure out what Javis is up to, and come right back to regroup. Easy peasy. I'd start looking in the Amber Woods if I were you. You know how to get there, right? Just head east from the Guardian's Tower, past the shops. Right. Come on, gang. We got work to do. Yay! New quest. Uh, before we go... Anybody else we can chat with? No. Okay. Okay, let's get this- Hold on. Before we leave town, can we stop by Pickledee's real quick? I need to tell Beverly I can't make it into work today. N no problem. Maybe we should grab some food while we're there. Off to Hickledy Pickledee's it is then. Sean G. Skipping work again, huh, Claire? Hey, come on, you know I'll make up the shifts later. Yeah, if Beverly thinks you've got things under control, then it's fine. And if the adventuring stuff's going well enough that you don't need the paycheck, then hey, good for you. Just don't think you can bail on us when the next holiday rush rolls around. Those summer solstice crowds are gonna be ravenous. Who even is this guy? Huh. Whatever. Wait, give me a moment. Hi, girls. Oh, and Claire's with you this time. Hi, Claire. Hey, Beverly. I just wanted to stop by and tell you I won't be able to make it into work today. Oh, is everything okay? Everything's fine. We've just got some urgent adventurer business to take care of today. Yeah, we're just off to save Green Ridge and possibly also Jody's life. You know how it is. Well, I don't know how that is, actually. But yeah, that's fine, Claire. It's pretty dead here today, anyway. Sean and I can handle it. I'll definitely miss having you around, though. Oh, oh yeah, me t Wait, voices. I can do them, I swear. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, hold that thought. Gotta get that out of the oven. So, when are you gonna cut the crap and ask Beverly out, Claire? What? Oh, come on. The little hearts in her dialogue are dead giveaways. <laughs> and I mean, you obviously like her, right? You always get so much more chipper around her. She's just very sweet. It's infectious. See? <laughs> Look, it's complicated, okay? Yeah, I like Beverly, but it'd be weird. She's my co-worker. I don't want to make it weird. So, dating a co-worker would, be, would make work weird, but wearing your witch gear while waiting on customers and skipping shifts to go fight monsters doesn't? <sighs> well, when you say it like that, you make it sound silly. Claire, do you remember what you told me a couple months back when I was crushing super hard on Allison? Mm, that you should just talk to her. Maybe you should follow your own advice here. You and I both know it's infinitely easier to give advice than it is to take it. Listen, I don't even know if Beverly likes me. She's all sweet and bubbly around everyone. That's just how she is 24-7. Besides, what we have going right now is nice. We hang out a lot, and I don't have to experience the crushing pain of being rejected. Okay, but for real, Claire, you'll never know how she feels if you don't talk to Beverly about it. Oh my god, fine. Okay, sorry about that. Now, what were you saying? I, uh... I hope you have a nice day, Beverly. 
Well, boy, that sure was a lot of build-up for a perfectly normal statement. Well, let me know if you need anything else. Food, a nap in one of the guest rooms, you name it. Uh... Hey, I heard y'all are in a guild now. How come you aren't wearing matching tabards or anything like that? We have our own styles. I try to get them to do it, but they're just stubborn. Ah, I get ya. Style's important as an adventure. It's half the job, honestly. Dress for the adventure you want, not the one you're on and all that. You know, you remind me of me and my friends when I was younger. We started a guild together, too. Oh yeah? How'd that go? Uh, well, not good. Deciding to spend that much time together really put a strain on our relationships. I don't regret it, though. Your 20s are all about getting stupid mistakes out of the way so you can make less stupid ones in your 30s. I still wear the tabard, though. I don't really see my old teammates that often, but I wonder if they still have theirs. Oh, well, uh, but don't worry. I'm sure y'all's thing will go way better than that. But uh, thanks, I guess. Also, what can we get from the shop? Beverly, do you mind if I use my employee discount? Oh, go right ahead. Also, let me give you a piece of advice. Some food will hear you more if it's something you really, really like. That's why they don't have HP recovery values listed on the chart. It varies. So when dividing up your rations out in the field or whatever, you should always give everyone their favorites. Ah, interesting. Chocolate bar. Bar of pure milk chocolate that restores at least 400 HP. <laughs> it's really good chocolate. Uh, fresh carrot, at least 500. 99% <laughs> sugar. Cool. Sunday restores at least 700 HP. Must have some very powerful magic to keep gold. And a picnic set. You've already got one of those. Okay. Oh, there's some odd jobs up on the notice board. Let's see. Press from Holly. Need help hanging up notices around the Amber Woods. We'll pay 400 gold. Yeah, I'll take that. Looking for help conquering the world's feet me at Leon Magic Pepper. Pepper wants help conquering the world, huh? I guess there's no harm in seeing what she wants. Adorable. Hi, Pepper. We saw your request on the notice board. Ah, excellent. You'll be perfect for the job. There's something I want in the Amber Woods. Getting it is the first step on my path to total world domination. Uh-huh. I'd get it myself, but I'm, uh, not allowed in the park after what happened last time. Uh, how do you know we can find this thing in the park? I have my sources. I can't tell you what the thing is, but you'll know it when you see it. Oh, and it's in a locked chest. You'll need this key. I mean, that helps at least. Uh, well, okay, I guess. We'll keep an eye out for this item of ultimate power while we're in the Amber Woods. Thank you! You'll be rewarded handsomely, and I'll also be sure to give you special privileges when I rule the world. <laughs> uh, adorable. So what can we buy? Uh, Shape-shifting based physical attacks teaches Sabertooth Chomp, Berserker Barrage, and Fire Breath. Uh, spell blade and the party's weapons with elemental magic to take advantage of enemy weaknesses. Also teaches counterattack stance. Ooh. Alchemist use potions as more than just potions. Teaches potion explosion, potion plus, boulder brew, and alchemical awakening. And magical girl, an exceptionally heat set of spells focused on multi-target healing. Teaches lovely aura, magic aura, and resilience aura. I definitely want one of those. Spellblade sounds really cool, too. Nah, heck, I might as well take all of them. Alright, you got anything to say today? Hey, you came back after all. That's great, because I'm not sure how many other customers we're going to get, to be honest. Yeah, it was such a great selection, though. I'm sure any adventurer could find something useful in here. Ah, that's sweet of you. But I know these spellbooks are pretty old-fashioned. They're big and heavy. You can only equip one at a time. Most folks these days prefer to just look up spells on their phones. 
Oh, well, hey, great news. Nobody's phone is working today. For the record, I'd buy some spellbooks even if I did have phone access. <laughs> no reception, huh? That's suspicious. Say, this doesn't have anything to do with my dear old dad, would it? Don't worry, we're pretty sure we know what happened, and it wasn't Bartholomew. Ah, <sighs> well, that's a relief. I love the old coot, but sometimes I worry about him getting bored and causing trouble. Speaking of, though, we should maybe check in on him. Have you been to the magic shop yet? You should go to the magic shop and give my daughter a lot of money. She needs to save up so that my grandbaby can kick off her career in villainy the right way once she's older, with a nice lair and everything. Well, I'm sure that's more important than trading cards, whatever it is kids like you waste your money on. We're in our 20s, Mr. Leon. We have bills. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy more trading cards. <laughs> Say, aren't you the witch who's always causing trouble around town? I don't know if I... I like your gumption, kid. But you could be causing much more trouble if you gave it some effort. You ever try summoning demons, kid? Once or twice. It's honestly not worth the cost of materials. Oh, really? What about... Maybe it's not a good idea for you two to be talking to each other. <laughs> uh... Alright, so now that we have those... Spellbook, equip... Mm. I think Alchemist might be a better fit for Claire. Let's go with that. I felt quite dumb for not actually looking through everything here. Yeah, I think we already poked that. Here we go. Auras, here we go. Restores a modest amount of HP to the whole party. Build star power. Generate 60 MP in exchange for star power. Resistance to negative status effects. Double the effects of recovery items and spells. Hmm. Interesting. So what do these do? Flame blade. Fire weapon. Ice weapon. Electric weapon. Counter attack stance. More likely to counter incoming attacks. Nice. Let's see, what we got for these alchemy? Uh, transform spare potion into alchemical bomb. Neat. Uh, combines the healing magic of first aid with a potion using both in a single action. Alchemical Awakening combines your own healing power with that of a tier of revival to revive one KO'd friend and fully restore their HP. And transform antidote into petrifying bomb. Interesting. Uh, huh. Claire, isn't running a generator in an, ex in an enclosed space extremely dangerous? Ah, don't worry, this generator runs on arcane energy, not fossil fuels. No fumes. But I did keep it next to a body of water in case it caught fire. Just to be safe. <sighs> How did you not burn my house down in the process of building this madhouse? I guess I should thank you for getting a generator instead of blowing a fuse in my house, though. Ooh, Allison, that gives me an idea. How is burning my house down going to help? No, no, I meant the blowing a fuse part. In a real dungeon, being able to cut the enemy's power could potentially give us a huge tactical advantage. If we turn off the generator, it'll kill all the solstice lights I have up around the dungeon, making it harder for the dust bunnies to see us. Won't that also make it harder for us to see them? Yeah, it won't be that dark. The dust bunnies just seem to have exceptionally poor eyesight. <laughs> I mean, we didn't really... Yeah, okay, sure. What? Grotto Mermaid and her tail? pretty cool. Okay, what do you think you're doing in my secret hideout? 
You can talk? Your secret hideout? This is connected to my dungeon. Wait, dungeon? Are you like, bad guys? <sighs> I tried telling her the dungeon thing wasn't a good look. Can we not get into this right now? Um, excuse me, how is a mermaid surviving in this little pond? Are you okay? Do you need help getting back to the ocean or something? Oh no, I'm fine. This water's way deeper than it looks. There's a whole underwater cave network down there leading back out to the ocean. I just found this cool little cave with the solstice lights and thought it was a nice place to chill. Which it was, until you guys budged in and beat me up. Again, I was here first. Also, you attacked us. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I think this is all just a big misunderstanding. Yeah, sorry for beating you up. Yeah, no hard feelings. Name's Kaya, by the way. Well, we were kind of in the middle of something, Kaya. But when we're done, I guess you could keep the generator and do whatever you want in here. Didn't want to lug it back to the surface anyway. Aw, thanks. Here, it's not much, but here's a little something to repay the favor. Ooh, mermaid wand. And Kaya's bestiary entry. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, see you around, I suppose. Peace. That was random. Now then, still need to check in here. This shop is fascinating. Is this what's considered chic here in Green Ridge? Perhaps I should take notes? Oh, and here's a word of advice to keep in mind while shopping. Uh, sure. While buying equipment, you'll see little numbers next to your names with a plus or minus. Yeah, I, I, I kind of know how that works. It, it's simple. I just like to get stuff that makes the numbers get bigger. A tried and true tactic. But some equipment may offer up additional bonuses that are more beneficial than the plus one defense shown in that little window. Indeed. Anywho. What can I get you? Hi, welcome to our shop. Uh, kids, what are you doing in this house? Claire, you live right around the corner. Whose house is this? Huh. Now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever bothered to introduce myself to the neighbors in the three years I've lived here. That sounds about right. Allison, you live even closer. What's your point? This isn't any old house. Not anymore. It's our shop. I'm a little worried about the legality of all this. No, it's fine. Honest. It's like a lemonade stand, except we sell potions. We brewed them ourselves. Wow, that's, uh, very impressive. There aren't any... <laughs> there aren't any good places to buy adventurous stuff in the neighborhood, so we got some of that, too. We're filling a void in the market. Well, these kids know a lot about business. Thank you. I've been reading a lot of books about ergonomics lately. Why did you want to open up a shop anyway? We're saving up for college. Even in elementary school, we're already cogs in the capitalist machine. Oh no. Joy's just mad because she wants to spend the money on trading cards instead of saving it. You can't stop me. <laughs> uh, she's right about capitalism, though. Anyway, you want to buy anything? We've got all sorts of useful adventure stuff. Alright, what are you selling? Well, I've got the potions and stuff over here. And I've got a bunch of armor. And weapons. Whoa, 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 hold up, you two. Who let you have weapons? You're like eight. Don't be a narc. <laughs> you know what? These kids are alright. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. Just talk to us when you want to buy something, okay? What can I get you? Alright, what do you got? Iron gauntlets. Good defense, good for punching. Cute little wand. A fairly average, albeit cute wand that enhances the user's magic strength instead of physical strength. Big heavy hammer. Big ol' hunk of metal for hacking stuff. <laughs> so heavy that you can't equip a spell book while wielding it. Oh, well that's no good. Training montage band. <laughs> Push it to the limit with this special training headband. Nice. Great choice if you plan on playing sports or getting hit in the head repeatedly. We're both! Uh, Celestial Circlet, said to enhance your psychic connection to Reverie's two moves, boosting your magic. Experience Sponge reduces, e reduces experience gained. 
Useful for party members who are over-leveled or for self-imposed challenge. Uh-huh. I gotcha. Ooh, area map. I would like that, in fact. And some antidotes. Grape flavored like all good medicine. Nice. What's this way, by the way? Oh, right. This is actually where we're headed. See monsters or litter bugs, call the local paladin brigade. <laughs> hey, Rhett, what you doing out here? Ah, just making sure no monsters try to sneak into town through the hiking trail. Standard paladin stuff. If you're looking for monsters, though, I'd head east and check the amber woods. The park's crawling with them today for some reason. Well, will do. Oh, also, you wouldn't happen to know who's responsible for the littering around here, would you? <laughs> nope, definitely not. You were working here yesterday, though, right? Yeah, weird. I don't know. Maybe you should ask Paula about it. Actually, now that you mention it, I haven't seen Paula around all day. Weird. I'll ask her if I see her around, I guess. Ah, <laughs> uh, these goobers. Alright, Amber Woods. Huh. This place is cute. So let's see. Oh. Uh. Oh my gosh! What happened here? Uh, do you know these two, Mel? Yeah, this is Beth, Beth the Beast and Mariana. I ran into them yesterday. Both of them are aspiring bards. I hope they're not hurt in there. Claire, do we have a way to get them out? I'd cast Scorch or something, but my fireballs are kind of explosive, so that might do more harm than good. And we don't exactly have the time to try and carefully chisel them out with Alice's sword. Ooh, idea! Somewhere around here in the park, there's an old shrine dedicated to Soleil. Soleil? As in, the Sun Goddess? Yeah! Maybe there'll be something that could help us at the, shri at the shrine. What are we gonna do? Just go ask the Sun Goddess real nicely if she'll melt a block of ice for some randos who never pray to her? I mean, do you have any better suggestions? Okay, let's go do some groveling at that Sun Shrine. Right, also... Where am I supposed to... Do I need to go talk to somebody about the... You know what? Here. We have a quest guide here. Oh, no, I need to actually talk to Holly to get the posters from her. That does make sense. Hey, Holly. Good morning. Headed on another adventure, huh? Uh, about your request. Uh, we saw you wanted to help posting some notices in the park. Yeah, what kind of notices are we talking here? Some wanted posters or something? Nah, it's something way more important than that. Check this out. Are you bad enough for the Green Ridge Wrestling League? <laughs> Tryouts every weekend this June. Talk to Holly or Rhett from the Paladin Brigade, not Province. <laughs> this is officially the sickest thing that's ever happened in this town. Hell yeah, it is. I'm a little surprised you'd have the energy to wrestle on your days off when you fight monsters for a living. That's the thing. We don't see as much action as you might think. Which, you know, is a good thing. But if I don't hit my recommended monthly quota for grappling, then my soul cries out in agony, Melody. Eh, yeah, makes sense. Before we can have an indie wrestling league, though, we need more fighters than just me and Rhett. I made these posters, but Province is already mad at me for using the office printer, so I can't get away with putting these up on the clock. That's where you come in. Why didn't you just cut out the middleman and put a poster on the notice board? I'm gonna be honest, nobody else reads the notice board except y'all. Anywho, here's some posters. If you could put up three of these in key locations in the Amber Woods, I think it'll get people's attention. Why the Amber Woods? A good wrestler is courageous, but also a romantic deep down in their soul. <laughs> You're making it sound like this is a scheme to expand your romantic horizons. Nah, although I do believe that love can bloom in the ring. Anyway. <laughs> no problem, Holly. We'll have that done in no time. Uh... Amazing. Okay. So, how are we going to tell where to put... Oh! This seems like a good spot for one of Holly's posters. 
easy enough. Oh, frog balls! Oh, they're adorable! Let's squish them. <laughs> cool. They, uh, they get bigger. Whoa. I don't like the size of that frog. Oh dear. Oof. That was a little spooky. Hmm. Another giant block of ice. What's going on around here? Clarence, since there's nobody inside this one, do you think you could melt it with a scorch? Mm, we need a lot of fire to melt a block this big. I'm not so sure I want to try that on a wooden bridge. Uh, fair enough. I guess we'll keep looking for a solution. Alright, well, I guess that means we gotta go this way. Oh, we already have one of these. Yeah, it might still come in handy. Or we could just sell it. I mean, yeah, that's true. Whoa, Bloom Beast, Snowbat, and Loot Scooter. Aw, oh, they're adorable. There we go. Ooh, Learn Skills theme song. And we got a bunch of gold from that Loot Scooter. Awesome. What's that? What's that theme song skill do? Changes battle music to Allison's theme, also builds her star power, <laughs> does not work in certain boss encounters. Amazing. Aha! Another booster spot. Here we go. This is the shrine! Wow, kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. I was expecting a statue of Soleil or something. I guess I can appreciate a good orb though. I mean, hey, what if this orb is closer to Soleil's true form? Gods are weird. The way she appears on TV and stuff could just be for show. Maybe it's not the best idea to call the gods weird when we're trying to get help from one. Oh, sorry. So, how do I do this? Do I just start talking? Mm, try touching the orb. Uh, um... Oh, great Soleil, goddess of the sun. And the giver of life? Do people call her that? Throw in something about how cool you think it is that she made the sun. She'll be able to tell if you're trying too hard to suck up. Um, please, hear our plea. Please, lend us but a small fraction of your sun-related powers, so we may help our acquaintances Beth and Mary and not freeze to death. We will be forever in your debt. Uh, amen? Well, that didn't work. Maybe she did something and we just didn't notice. Nah, Soleil's a show-off. We'd know. She's probably just busy. Uh, well, I guess it was worth a shot. Huh. More section info. Alright, well... Uh... Hmm. Hi! You enjoy your time at the shrine? Care to buy any officially licensed Soleil merch to remember your trip? Dude, we're locals, not tourists. You can drop the salesman stink. Oh yeah, I thought I recognized you. Oh wait, yeah, you guys are the Novas. I think that's the first time anyone's remembered the name of our guild. <laughs> you know, it's the middle of summer. Don't, aren't you hot in that big foam costume? Well, ironically, in spite of being shaped like the sun, it's pretty cool in here. Anyway, if you're not interested in buying anything, I should probably get back to being a walking billboard. This might seem like an odd question, but is any of this merchandise enchanted? Well, I consider all of it quite enchanting myself. No, I mean, do any of them have magical effects? We were hoping to get some help from Soleil on our adventure, but she didn't answer our prayer. Oh yeah, totally. These keychains can call down beams of sunlight and stuff. Here, don't tell my boss, but I'll give you guys one for free if, if it'll help on a quest. Sun souvenir. 
<laughs> Melt blocks of ice and cure ice-related status ailments. Wow, thank you so much. I'm sure this will help in our quest. Cool, well, have a good one. So, does it work? Here goes nothing. Ah, hey, it worked. Oh, nice work, Mel. Neat. Okay, before we go rescue those two, let's check over this way. Danger, monster den inside. Monsters will attack randomly, proceed with caution. Was this monster den always here? Uh, I think I'd remember if there was a big cave filled with monsters right next to the entrance of the park. Either way, sounds like a good place to stop by if we ever need to do a little training. Huh. I mean, yeah, I suppose so. Okay. Here goes nothing. Ah, oh, most righteous! We were starting to think no one would ever walk by and notice us in that block of ice. Actually, we saw our buddy Bill walk by earlier, but I think he was running late for his shift at the souvenir stand. It's cool. We understand the importance of punctuality. Are you two okay? What happened here? Did you get attacked by a snowbound or something? Oh yeah, we're fine. Thanks for the save, Melody. This was definitely no snowbat, though. We saw this mysterious cloaked figure lurking in the woods, and his two bards fighting for truth and justice. We knew that was no good. They tried talking we, They tried talking to the cloaked figure, and then we got frozen. Admittedly, mistakes may have been made. Yeah, I think we might know who's responsible for this. I think we're definitely on the right track here. We'd better keep investigating. Right on. Well, thanks again for thawing us out. Oh, don't sweat it. We will sweat it, actually. We'll be sure to repay the favor someday. Adventurous code and all that. Anyway, see you around. Ah, uh, goobers. Ah, here we go. Final poster. East Mountains, Northwest Uncanny Valley. Huh. Well, oh, just west-west. Well, actually, this might... Hmm. Ooh. I'll go see what's in there. <laughs> oh. Well, I see someone over there. Looks like we definitely gotta fight our way through, though. <laughs> cool snake and blue beast. Ah. Uh... There we go. Ooh, mana train. Nice. Alright. Hello. Park Ranger Taylor. Wow, surprised anyone's here today with all the monster activity. We're here because of that, actually. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Well, while you're here, feel free to knock some sense into some of these monsters. It'd be a big help. That's not something I would normally expect a park ranger to say. Uh, these monsters aren't just normal animals, Melody. They're invasive magical entities, and they're terrorizing the normal fauna of the park. Roughing them up a bit should scare some of them off, though. <laughs> Trust me, Taylor, I don't need any excuses to kick some monster butt. In particular, I'd be on the lookout for this big mean bird who started squatting in the park a few months back. Folks call him the Trash King. Does the nickname come from him having a trashy personality, or...? No, I mean he loves to steal garbage. But he'll also straight up attack tourists, adventurers, and the native wildlife if he's in the mood, so I guess he's also kind of a garbage dude, yes. It'd be a big help if you could deal with him. If you head east from here into the mountains, you're bound to run into him. Oh, we'll be sure to keep an eye out for this trash king of yours, then. Oh, and hey, here's a map of the park for your quest log, just in case you need it. Aww. Oh, that was nice. No, no, we'll, we'll, we'll get him. We'll get him. Oh, I'd appreciate it if you didn't go snooping around in my fire lookout tower. 
There's lots of confidential forestry services stuff up there, like my bed and my field guides, and uh... Okay, maybe it's not all that top secret. I bet you just have a great view of the park from up there, huh? Yeah, it's one of the nicer perks of the job. That and knowing I'm keeping the forest from burning down. Speaking of which, y'all are behaving yourselves and not using any fire magic out here, right? <laughs> yeah, who would be reckless enough to do that? That sounded kind of sarcastic. Did it? Claire, can you look me in the eye and tell me you won't start any fires? I'll certainly try. Well, that's probably about as good as I'm going to get out of you. Yep. <laughs> oh, amazing. Alright, let's go get that Trash King real quick. Bushy-tailed bandit? Oh, it was just a baby, though. Look at this cutie baby. There we go. Starfruit? What on earth is that? Rare fruit immediately fills the star power of one ally. Huh. Nice. Alright. This way next. Harpy Monk? Mega potion. Nice. Honestly, at this low level, it might be better. Might be better off selling that. All right, no more worry. Uh, hmm. a door? Does it actually go anywhere? If this leads where I think it does, then I should be able to open it, actually. It's kind of a restricted area, though, so, uh, well, don't tell anyone I let you two in there. By anyone, I mean Faith. Oh. Huh. Where are we? Welcome to the Astral Plane, you guys. You've been to the Astral Plane before, Claire? No, you're saying it wrong. It's the Astral Plane. Sorry, you've been to the Astral Plane before? I'm not letting you two say Astral Plane again until you explain where we are in a way that a magical novice like myself will understand. I read a little about it while studying Paladin spells, actually. It's a higher level of reality that's made entirely of magical energy. It's always there, intersecting with the material plane, but we normally can't see it. Magic users have been coming here for ages, although most of it is still unexplored. That's a bit of a simplification, but yeah, basically. Okay, and what exactly are we going to find here? I have no idea. Let's look around. Uh, I mean... Cool? Sure? Why? Oh, Bunny. There's somebody here, but he's... asleep? Oh, yeah, that guy. He's always here. I've heard he's been here as long as anyone can remember, actually. No idea what his deal is, but people call him the Dream Knight. Uh, is he okay? Should we help him or something? I don't know. He's still breathing, so he's probably okay. Let's just leave him be for now. Okay, so what's... Warp currently unavailable. Oh... Okay. Well, hey, wait a second. There's something in the well. Oh, a critter. Oh, the poor thing. We'd better find a place for this little guy to stay. Oh, do cr critter? A lost critter returned it to its home for a reward. Awesome. Wait, where is this? 
Oh. Hey, how'd you get- how'd you kids get up there? Miss Leon, did you know there's a st there's a door to the astral plane upstairs? Oh yeah, forgot that was up there. Well, just be sure to wipe your feet before you come in. Don't need your old track and stardust in the shop. Mom, can I go to the astral plane, please? Maybe for your next birthday, kiddo. <laughs> huh. Neat. Well, I guess while we're here then... Uh, about your request. We put up the posters. Oh, right on. Thanks for the help. So, what if you don't get any takers? Eh, Red and I will just go back to doing flying elbow drops and stuff on each other. You know, I might have to join you one of these days if I'm not too busy saving the world. Well, we'll see if you'll still chair, Allison. Anyway, here's your reward for a job well done. Yay! Ooh, and a level up. Nice. Huh, this gate has no lock, but it's still sealed shut. It's probably enchanted. Matter is actually just welded shut and we're being pranked. Wow, trying to open strangers' gates now, huh, no? I didn't realize you were turning into such a rebel. I mean, aren't you curious about what's behind this? It's not like I see a house back there. I'm sure we'll find out eventually if it has any relevance to us. I mean, yeah, makes sense. Oh, here we go. This must be where the Trash King is. Oh, I think this is the Trash King guy we were told about. Uh, he looks tough. Let's try talking to him. Maybe we can get him to leave peacefully. Um, hello there. Are you the Trash King we've heard so much about? Hmm. Oh, sorry sir. We didn't mean to startle you. Yeah, hey, no need to shout, man. We just want to say hello. Hmm. I don't... I don't get the feeling... Guys, I think this is just a regular bird that now wants to kick our asses. <laughs> what? It's got trash bags? Alright, alright. Uh, let's see. Ooh, chocolate bar. Yeah, I figured those would kill him. Powerful spell coming up next turn. <laughs> Trash King doesn't actually know any spells. God damn it. Because <laughs> it's just a bird. Ah, amazing. Goodness. Not a little difficult, but we managed it. And don't come back! Yeah, that'll teach that stupid bird to terrorize the wildlife on our island. <sighs> well, that's one less threat for the Sapphire Islands to deal with. That only leaves a mysterious video wizard who can manipulate space and time. Uh, point taken. Come on, Mel. The adventure continues. Right. Uh, you know, rather than going forward, though, since since since, go ahead and go back and save. And I think that's enough for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to come back next time. So on and so forth, etc., etc. 
and I'll see you all later. Bye, everybody.